Howdy y'all, welcome back to Guns and Barbecue, and welcome back to the What Is A series. If you're not familiar with this series, this is just a video series that I have come up with to try and educate mainly new firearms owners, but really anybody that might have a question about firearms that most would, you know, kind of scoff at, like, really you're asking that? Uh, you know, that's pretty remedial, that's pretty trivial, what, how don't you know that? Um, and I find that a lot of people are afraid to ask questions like that because they're afraid to get those reactions. So they just keep to themselves. And so in an effort to try and put some good information out there, uh, I've made this series. So if you are a seasoned firearms owner and you've stumbled across this, I understand if you don't want to stick around, but you know, I hope you do. Uh, please let me know what you think down in the comments. Maybe I got something wrong. If I did get something wrong, again, let me know down in the comments so I can fix it. I'm not here to put out bad information. Uh, likewise, if you know a new firearms owner, a new gun owner, who is, you know, needing some information, point them in the direction of this series. I have a playlist on my channel that is called What Is A, as well as another playlist on my channel that is called For New Gun Owners. I will link both of those down in the description. So, let's get into what today's topic is. Now, if you read the, des the description or the title, you already know. But anyways, today we're going to go over what is an assault weapon. It's not this, I promise. They, they want you to think it's, you know, my AR-15, or your AR-15, or your AK-47, but it's not. We should first talk about where assault weapon is derived from, and the term assault weapon is derived from the term assault rifle. That is derived from the German Sturmgewehr, which was a German rifle in World War II, aptly named by Adolf Hitler, which I find very ironic because the left often likes to uh, call gun owners, you know, Nazis and uh, white supremacists and all kinds of just disgusting things like that because, you know, we just care about our fi firearms and we care about our rights. But uh, yet they are going to use a term made up by the leader of the Nazis like it's no issue at all. Like I said, I just find that part ironic. But uh, Sturmgewehr, loosely translated, means assault rifle. Now, translated properly, Sturmgewehr actually means storm rifle, which storm meaning not, hey, there's a thunderstorm coming, but simply that we're going to go storm the castle. So, like I said, somehow loosely translated, that turned into assault rifle instead of storm rifle. So, in the 1980s, I think like 85-ish, that's when the term assault weapon started appearing and whatnot. And honestly, if you're wondering what an assault weapon is, I'd like to know myself. It, because it's, it's not a real thing. Some people would say it's a firearm that has select fire capabilities, things like that. But no, that, uh, the military has their own definitions for firearms that have full auto capability and things like that and there's a lot of nuance that you can get into when you're talking about things like that but when it comes down to it the term assault weapon is just a made-up term for firearms that the government doesn't like and doesn't want you to have because at the end of the day an armed populace can fight back against a tyrannical government and they don't like that uh, I wish there was a definition that I could give you that would be like yeah this is what an assault weapon is but it doesn't exist and I really did search high and low for an official definition, not something that was on Wikipedia, not something that was made up by CNN or anybody else, but, you know, something that's out there by the ATF or the U.S. military or anything like that. I got nothing. Now, a way to prove to you that assault weapon is a made-up term is if you will go look at House Bill 1808, which is coined as the Assault Weapons Ban of 2022. They specifically outline certain firearms in that bill. Now, if assault weapons were a real thing, they should be able to just say, we're banning assault weapons with this bill. And then, you know, if it passes and all that, boom, assault weapons are a thing of the past. They don't do that, though, because they can't. There's nothing that actually defines what an assault weapon is. So what they did in this bill is they actually went and listed firearm by firearm or, you know, platform by platform, however they deemed best to say what an assault weapon is. 
and there's all kinds of things on on it and it, there's no rhyme or reason to it like a lot of things the government does but um, that like, that's the best I can give to you for proof that assault weapon is a made-up term because even in a house bill they cannot define what an assault weapon is they actually had to list firearms make by make model by model I hope that this was short sweet to the point this is probably one of the longer videos of this series so I'm hoping it's still under the five minute mark again if you know somebody that would benefit from this series please point them in the direction of it uh, hit those like comment share and subscribe buttons if you would please and I'll see y'all next time